welcome to the Bride Guide 101 with Gemma and Jade and today we're continuing our look at underskirts. So we've gone for a fitted dress today, so this is a mermaid cut because it's coming from Gemma's thighs and we wanted to look at the difference that adding different petticoats or underskirts would make to the dress and the look and the feel more importantly for Gemma. So we've got a mixture ranging from just a little slip with nothing all the way to a hoop with different layers of Depends how much you want it to kick out of the bottom, doesn't it? And I mean, some of them, you're not going to be able to tell the difference, but I will try and explain how they feel. Because yeah. this is, it's a really nice material, isn't it? It's a bit thicker than some, but it doesn't feel like much coverage. It depends how bothered you are, doesn't it? So I'll try and explain whether it feels like it's enough coverage. Because a lot of ladies say that with this thinner material, they're really worried about the whole underwear scenario. Yeah. So these slips come up quite high and actually it might... Sort that out. Yeah, because by adding a slip or an underskirt, especially with this kind of thinner material, when it's got no lace on, because if you've got a fitted dress with lace on, I always say to ladies, it's more coverage, yeah. you feel a bit more comfortable. With this fabric, because there isn't any lace appliques on the skirt. Sort of on your own a bit, aren't you? Yeah, you're very much aware of your line, of your knickers. Again, mm. invisible underwear is always your go-to for brides. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone didn't think it through today at all. <laughs> one job, Gem. One job. Um, so we're going to look at the difference that makes to Gemma as well, and hopefully um, see how it affects the dress and you know, just the general sense of how it makes you feel and walking as well. So we'll get straight to it with the first one, which is going to be a slip. Okay then, so the first one we've got is the slip. Now this is great, it's a nude colour. So if you've got a fitted dress that you're worried about your underwear in the sense of, can I see any lines? Or if you want a bit of coverage for your cellulite as well, because that can help just have... Oh. Jem hasn't got any. Oh, <laughs> Look, it's a problem Stop to me. You me. I was like, I roll there. I was like, I know what I'm talking about. Get a slip! <laughs> so this slip is stretchy as well, which is always really nice. So if you're dancing, you're moving, you can definitely have a little bit more stretch and it will go with the dress a little bit better. But we're going to pop it on. I'm going to see how Jen feels about it and her movement. Give it a slip. <laughs> okay then, so we've popped the slip on with this one. Gemma will show you. So, and Jen was just saying she put it on, it feels 100% better already, yeah. won't you? Yeah. It's not really, really tight, but it comes up and it feels like it sucks it all in. And I feel like it's just giving me that extra little bit of security. Honestly, I'm not sure whether you can tell. Well, I, I can't see it more importantly. So it, that nude colour is definitely going to help because you don't want to see it. But I'm very, the very fact it feels better. It just feels better. We always say in here, if you're feeling good, you're looking good, it's all part of the process. So if Gemma were to put this skirt on, was like, I feel so much better in it, then why wouldn't she wear it? But again, it's going to give you more coverage with the dress like it's, this. It's light, it's not doing much for the dress, but it's, it's just giving me that little bit more confidence, which, yeah. not bad Confidence thing. is key. <laughs> it doesn't do anything to the bottom, so if, if you want something that kicks out, that's not doing that, it's literally just another layer. It's almost like those shorts and um, underwear that you wear. What do you call them? Shapewear. Shapewear, yeah, but it's like a full skirt of shapewear. Yeah. So we're going to move on to the next one. Now we're going to add a little bit of layering to see how that affects the dress and importantly how Jen feels about it. Right then, so up next we've got this underskirt. Now there's no hoop in this one, but we've got two layers of petticoats. And I'll come and show you. So what this is going to do, it's going to bring a bit more structure to the dress and give a little bit of volume, but not too much because it hasn't got the hoop. So Gem's going to pop this one on now. Again, it's nice and stretchy. Bye. So we'll see how she feels about it. Thank you. Right then, so we've just popped the underskirt on that had no hoop, but a few layers of petticoat to help bring out the dress a bit. So you can see it's come out a little bit more here now. So you've got a little bit more shape that's happening because the petticoats are coming out from Gem's thighs. So how does it feel now you've got those It's quite nice because this, this is a little bit like that shape one that we've just had on so you've got a little bit of coverage here not as much to be fair and then you've got a little bit uh, for me personally Gosh. because it hasn't got the hoop it's irritate I, I feel like i can just feel netting on my legs yeah which i'm not enjoying i i would probably i think gonna, i think i'm gonna end up liking a hoop well this one because you can see it's the petty that's what's on my legs you yeah. see and that's a little bit irritating because you've got the, the feel of that yeah so we're gonna pop on the hoop next to see how Gem feels now, and more importantly again, how it's going to affect the look of the dress and bring it out a little bit more because you've got the structure of a metal hoop in it. And so next we've got an introduction of a hoop. Now this, if I show you, you can see already, if I hold it up to the camera, how much more structure this is compared to the last petticoats because of this one hoop here. And that's going to bring the layers off Gem's legs and it's going to kick the dress out more. So we'll pop it on and we'll see the look. 
Right then, so Gem's just popped this one on, and as you can see straight away, it's really now bringing the structure of this dress out from here. So what's happening if I lift Gem's dresser, which Woo! she loves, hold that, <laughs> bossy. <All right. laughs> You've got this hoop, and what that's doing is bringing it off Jem's legs. Dads and legs! <laughs> You've got more movement. You've got a range now with nothing sat on your legs. And then if we drop that, you can see, and that's why now this dress, and for me, it's really showing Jem's curves off here because you've got this kind of hourglass figure because it's really kicking it off. Um, and you were just saying like it's more movement. You can feel yeah, because it, 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 nothing's on my legs now. Yeah. So this is quite a nice feeling. It, I mean, it depends because obviously I feel like I, I haven't got as much coverage here. Mm -hmm. So it depends whether it's a coverage thing or a shape thing that you want. If it's a yeah. shape thing, then it's this all day long. If it's coverage, then I feel like some of the others have been better. And it depends what you want the skirt to do. I mean, like, this is literally going to keep it out all the time. If you want a more relaxed look, then yeah. that's not what you're going for, is it? Exactly. Because this is a funny dress to... to we've, tr we've chose this dress because you can see really easily. But actually, you probably wouldn't wear something so structured underneath this sort of material, would you? Well, and I, but I think it does work, though. And you've got to imagine what your um, fitted dress is like that's what we say in the appointments try different ones yeah, experiment. on experiment yeah because different dresses will look differently with underskirts but as you can see if you want to bring your dress out it more works. or off your leg one hoop a few layers is going to work perfectly for that but next we're going to move on to more petticoats with one hoop to really kick it out and get more bring of out the big guns yeah i am <laughs> <laughs> boom <laughs> here we go <laughs> Right then, so our final underskirt we're going to look at today is the one where we've got more petticoats and the hoop. So if I hold it up, you can see this one's got three layers of tulle and that's really going to give a nice structure Kick on out. top of... She's interrupted me. I was like a whole thing there. <laughs> Let me in! Stop, stop holding this in front of my face! <laughs> it's all about the petticoat! <laughs> look at when we pop this one on to really bring the dress out now and more importantly how Jen feels in it so let's find out <laughs> I really like it right then, I, was just oh, oh. I was waiting for oh. Jen to finish oh. she's just <laughs> dancing <laughs> so I don't know if you're aware we've popped the underskirt on now that's got one hoop but it's got more petticoats to it so if I just show you Hold that, Jen. Yep. So this one, you can see, because of the tulle and the way it's more structured with the fabric, it's really holding its shape. So we've got four layers, and then you've got your hoop there. So what, again, we drop that. Now you can see it's really bringing out that structure here and making it kind of go bam at the bottom. And Jen, more importantly, said she put it on like, oh, this is my favourite. I do quite like it. I think like it gives you the shape. I've got the structure and it's completely off my legs. Like yeah. I've got a bit of everything. So, I mean, obviously you're going to want to have this look, this look, aren't you? Like, you know, but I feel like that's, that's if that's what you want. And more perfect. importantly, you can really see the difference this yeah. has made to this dress. So if you want a more relaxed look, you know, you're going to keep it simple, maybe not have a hoop, but just something to bring it off or even none. It, Hopefully, it's, you can see. Do you know what I would do? I think I'd have this ceremony to have a bit of drama. Drama? Drama. No one wants drama then, when Jen. Why are you drama? It's all about me. It's one of Jen. Me. <laughs> no drama. So this is the drama. And then I'd take it off for the evening and have much more of a relaxed look. Yeah. And easier to wear. You know, because I mean, it's... It is easy to walk in, but obviously I've got something else on. So yeah. if I can nip it off and I'm dancing with nothing, then... Oh, Jen's dancing with oh. nothing. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, us digressing slightly <laughs> there, you can see the difference that a fitted underskirt will make to your dress. And by adding more layers and a hoop to it, it will bring it out more. But if you want to keep it more relaxed and you just want a little bit of coverage, you're going to keep with the no hoop and just a little slip. So um, any more, any questions, drop it in the comments. And like and subscribe to the channel for more top tips on your wedding day. Bye, guys. Bye.